Deep vein thrombosis, most commonly known as DVT, is a sometimes hereditary condition which affects one in every 1,000 people in the UK each year, with one in every hundred dying as a result of it. It is a little known fact, but complications resulting from DVT kill more people annually than AIDS, breast cancer and traffic accidents combined. But what exactly is DVT? Deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot forms in a deep vein, most often taking place in the deep veins of the lower leg, which pass through the centre of the leg and are surrounded by a layer of muscle. The DVT can sometimes spread up to the deep veins of the thigh, and if untreated, can even spread to the lungs, which can cause serious harm. One person who knows all about DVTs is 22-year-old forensic student Sophie Blaine, who has suffered three in the last eight years. I went to a home in Sleaford, Lincolnshire, to talk to Sophie about her experience. My first DVT was when I was 14 and I woke up and my leg was all big and purple and hurt a lot and it was a Sunday so my dad was like, oh, I can't take you to the doctors today because it's shut. So then we went the next day and then at the doctors they were like, oh, I think you might have a DVT. And my dad, who's had three DVTs, was like, oh yeah, I've had three DVTs by the way. And, oh well, that's a bit obvious then, isn't it? So then I got sent to hospital for 10 days. Um, they put me on heparin, which sort of starts to thin out your blood a bit before the warfarin kicks in. And they put me on warfarin as well, but they had to wait for it to kick in. Um, after the first DVT, I was put on warfarin for six months. And then six months after the trial had ended, I had another DVT and they thought they'd better put me on warfarin for life, so they did. Warfarin is an anticoagulant drug that is used to prevent the formation of blood clots. However, seeing as it interacts with several other common medications, as well as some foods and drinks, its activity has to be monitored by regular blood tests for a patient's INR. That's a half milligram warfarin tablet. And it's white. This is a this is a one milligram warfarin tablet, which is brown. And you can get three milligram ones, but I don't have any. And this is a five milligram tablet, which is a delightful shade of pink. This is my yellow book, and I have to take it to all my blood tests and it has useful information like what not to do and they record each of my blood tests and the result and how many tablets I should take. DVTs are most common in people who are over 40, very tall or obese but this clearly isn't always the case. Other contributing factors include the following. If you have previously suffered a blood clot if you have a history of thrombosis in the family, if you have certain blood diseases, if you have cancer or have had cancer treatment, or if you have recently suffered an injury or had surgery. The risk is also higher in women, especially those who take a contraceptive pill containing oestrogen, are pregnant or just had a baby. Immobility is another factor, one which Sophie feels played a part in her third DVT. Um. When I was 19, I was working full time in a lab and I had to stand all day and I didn't have time, it was a bit naughty, to go and have my blood like tested. So I didn't. And my INR, which is a measure of how quickly your blood clots, got a bit too low, which means it's too thick. And I had my third DVT in the other leg this time. It didn't actually hurt like the first two DVTs, it just there was loads of red wiggly lines on my leg and eventually I got a bit freaked out by them so I went to hospital again, got told off for being naughty, <laughs> not taking my pills and having my blood checked and stuff. To prevent further DVTs I take my warfarin like a good girl and I go for all the blood tests and I wear these really sexy compression stockings that help the blood flow back up my leg. As you heard from Sophie's experience, deep vein thrombosis can present itself in different ways, and so 
If you fit any of the criteria of a person who is vulnerable to DVTs, then it is important that you take every necessary precaution to prevent such a thing from happening. Or, if you are showing any signs of a DVT, then you should go to the doctors straight away.